Key five on MathLine. If we start a group on one bar, it continues on the next. All this is saying is that MathLine is continuous. Let's just take the example of counting by tens. So we have a group of 10, we count 10, we count 10 more to get 20, then we slide five more rings over, but we're counting by 10, so we have five here and five here to get our next group of 10. So we have 10, 20, 30. If we start a group on one bar, this group of five, it continues on the next bar, this group of five, to finish our group of 10. Then we have 10 more is 40, 10 more is 50, 10 more is 60, 10 more is 70. Again, another group of five. We want a group of 10, but we, have, we start a group of five and then finish it to get 80, 90, and 100. Another example, let's say we're multiplying by eights. So we want to start out counting by eights, and we're going to just multiply up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One group of eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's two groups of eight. Now we have one, two, three. This is all the rings on this level. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's our third group of eight. We have one ring here. Now we have to continue counting down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if we start a group on one bar right here, it continues on the next. So our fourth group of eight, we count like this. Some students for this group, they might end up ignoring this ring up here and just count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, which would put our fourth group of eight at 33. We can't do that. We can't ignore this ring. If we start a group on one bar, it continues on the next. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 